Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Artix contacted me, asked me if I would like to show one of their products on my channel. So they sent me their acrylic marker set. So thank you so much to Artix for sending me this uh, product to show you guys on my channel. We have 32 colors in this set to step into an enchanting world of magical wonder. So we just have a plain back. Did not open this yet. So we do have a cellophane wrapping on here. Let me get that off. Now I'm going to have to see if each of these need priming because <laughs> then I will have to pause and do that. I don't think you want to see me prime all these. And a lot of times your acrylic marker sets, you do. So what do we get inside? We get this, which has all the colors on. So we do have a number, A1, and the color name. So this one is lemon yellow, canary melon. I am hoping that means <laughs> we have the color, at least the color name or number on the pens themselves. It says the color swatch sheet is for reference only. Colors will appear differently under different types of light and materials. Please make your own color swatches uh, as the standard, which makes sense. All right, so let's look at these. We do get a little card here. It says, thank you. Here's a hashtag you can use on social media. Hashtag A Artix, A-R-R-T-X. Okay. These are the pens. Oh, they look quite different, don't they? So let's take a look at one. So we do have the colored ring around here, as well as the color on each end. Let me zoom you in a little so you can see these better. We have a black glossy body. It does say Arctics on here, acrylic marker. Shows the fine tip and the brush tip. So we have fine tip, which is nice. So these won't need priming. These are very different than your typical alcohol or alcohol, acrylic markers with the bigger tip, you know, that you have to prime. So this is going to be very nice. And then a brush tip. I've never seen a brush tip on an acrylic marker before. That's a very nice, it comes to a really nice fine tip. It is a smaller brush. So we are going to swatch these out. But guess what, folks? No color name or, oh yes, I take that back. Here we have the alphanumeric. So not a color name, but at least we have the number on here. <laughs> I'm assuming the A stands for Arctic. And then the number. Yay! It says recap after every use. We do have um, their, uh, what is that called? <laughs> UPC number or code. Um, so I don't know if eventually be able to order um, just one particular color. That would be nice. It has the AASCM code and made in China, of course. <laughs> so, very nice, very unique type of acrylic markers. So, we have this tray. This comes in a really nice, heavy-duty cardboard. So, the trays come out very nicely. Let me zoom back out. So, very nice trays. Here is the second row. Okay, so when I swatch, I'm going to go in my standard order approximately <laughs> where I'll pull out the yellows. We'll go through the oranges, reds, um, my, my standard. So we'll pull out the white first. 
I'm going to put these off, get my knife out of the way. I'll put these off to my right hand side so I'm not going in front of you guys the entire time. And I just made out a preliminary color chart like I always do. Um, I'm just going to write the name or the, the code, the number in here. We'll swatch in here then. So I will be redoing this. All right, let's try the yellow. So we'll try both tips um, when probably when we get to a darker color. The very first one, of course, is the white. All right, so you probably won't be able to see this. Yeah, and you don't have to prime them at all. Oh, does that feel nice? Wow. Okay, here is, let me jot that down, that's right. So this one was A0. I'm just going to put the number. So that is the white. This one is 1. Got the order right so far. <laughs> so here's the yellow. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. It does not feel like acrylic paint at all, but you can use these like on rocks and your typical, you know, whatever you can do with your other um, acrylic pens. So this one is a three. So very easy numbers. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I am just amazed. I want to look at this closer. Because they do, they feel just like markers. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's see. We do have an orange over here. This one is a 21. Okay, so I noticed with the bigger band like this, that is the brush tip. With just the slim band over here, that is the fine. So it's very easy to identify which end is the brush. Oh, isn't that pretty? So, of course, if you put this on a non porous uh, surface, these could be, you know, watered down. They are like acrylic paint. I don't think I have any non porous. Thing here to try. Um, hmm. Let me pause. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just got one of these cheapy paint palettes that's plastic. Let's go on to another orange, so or a peach. Not sure what this is. This is number, where'd I put my pen? Too much stuff out here. Okay, so this is 15. It's a pretty peach color. So let's see if we, you know, just put some in here. It is paint. Hmm. Now I, now I can see it. And I just have a broad tip Arctix water pen. So let's let's squeeze a little bit of water in here. Just water it down a little bit and you can get a paler version. So you can, I must have put too much water in there, but you can watercolor with these then. Pretty neat. Nice. Again, just have any non-porous uh, item that that you can scribble on and you can watercolor with these. Neat. Very neat. Okay, so I think that one's a pink. This one looks like a red-orange. So this one is a 30. Oh, isn't that pretty? Nice, vibrant 
colors. A red, A35. I love the fact that the numbers are very simple. <laughs> oh, very nice. Let's try the fine tip. That is very tiny. Really nice. These would be great for coloring also. <laughs> and, okay, let's go into the pinks. A7. Ooh, that's pretty. And we have A5. Should I zoom you in a little bit? There, how's that? All right. Looks to be kind of a fuchsia color. 67. Oh, love it. So the color is uh, very close to the, the true color in the marker itself. Looks to be a lavender, number nine. Ooh, pretty pastel purple. And a darker purple, A70. So far, it seems like they have a very nice color palette. Oh, gorgeous. You know me and my purples. <laughs> All right, we get to the blues. So we do have, oh, I missed a darker yellow. That might go with the earth tone, so we'll, we'll leave it for now. We have A71. And we have 73. Those go together very nicely. And a 83. Oh, all three of those go together very nice. So these could be used as like enhancements to pictures you've colored also. 89. Oh, all of those. Okay, let's go up to the next column because it looks like we have a very dark blue. A91. Now it seems like as the colors get darker, the numbers go up. So we have 71, 73, 83, 89. Now we have 91. So we have a nice dark blue. And then we go to the greens. And we have a number of greens. We have A49. Oh, look at that nice spring green. That's pretty. And a fifty. Oh, so pretty. I can't believe how smooth these go down. They're very nice and juicy. Fifty five. Very unique. 57. I don't know if they have larger sets than the 32. I didn't go out and look. Now I probably would switch these two around. Even though, again, the numbers are going up, 
I think this one's lighter than that one. We have a darker green, 59. And then looks to be like a teal, 60. Oh, very pretty. Okay, some earth tones. We'll start with this tan, 103. Oh, nice to have a light tan like that. Let's try this yellow and see if it belongs here or with the yellows. 95. It is a higher number though, and the yellows were in the single digits. Yeah, it's kind of like a yellow ochre. I think I would put it up with the yellows though. Uh, one one five. Maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's one of those that can go either place. And ninety nine. A little bit darker. We have a reddish one. Again, not sure if this goes with the earth dunes or with the reds. Kind of looks like a brick red. 40. But it could be more of like a burgundy. Yeah, dark red. Again, could be either or. And two more browns. So like I said, we have quite a number of browns. 111. Oh, nicely lighter brown. And one more. We have 120. Looks to be a darker brown. Oh, that's a pretty brown. So if you do landscapes, we have quite a few greens and browns. Then we have one gray and, of course, black. So we have 160. And finally, the black, which is 200. Oh, nice, dark, dark black. Sometimes your black is like a dark gray, so I always like to see how black the black is. Let's, let's, uh, let's see again the fine tip. Yeah, very nice. Nice, fine, fine tip. Especially for, for an acrylic marker, acrylic pen. Let's zoom back out and let's look at the colors. So again, there are color names. What did I do with that sheet? To these particular pens um, on this card. So when I make up the color chart, I am going to type in the color numbers. Like this one is lemon yellow. This one is canary melon. We go to number five, mum pink, lilac. Um, so pretty easy to match up the color names to the specific color um, on the chart once you make up a chart. If you're like me and you have to have charts for everything. <laughs> so let's go through the colors. Nice bright yellow. Of course, I have to have our white. And the white, you can mix with any of these colors and make them pastel. So let's say you want a very light blue, like for a sky. Again, using a non-porous surface, you could put some of this in and add a white just like your acrylic paints and make a lighter version of this blue. 
or maybe you want a real pale green, again, adding your white, you can do that. Or if you want a shade, you could add your gray or your black and make it darker. All right, so like I said, we do have, I like this peach. That's pretty. And again, using your water, you can make it real pale. Maybe you want a skin tone. You could add white to that. We have a yellow or a red orange, a nice red. We have a couple of pinks, love that fuchsia, a couple of purples, quite a number of blues. So we have five blues. We have six greens. And then, what, five, six, seven. Like, again, I think I'll move this over. Um, but yeah, quite a few earth tones. And then they do include a gray and, of course, the black. So for a 32 set, I think this is awesome. They picked very nice, nice colors. These are kind of similar. Um, you know, maybe we could have had, I don't know. You know, these are similar too. We could have maybe had a, a different earth tone in here. Maybe... Um, a specific skin color, you know, something lighter than this. We always want skin colors, right? <laughs> but yeah, overall, I love this color palette. Um, again, not sure if there is a smaller or a larger set of this, um, but I will leave a link to the 32 set down below in the description. If there are other sets available, I I'll leave links to those also down below. So, ah, love these. So unique. Wow. So thank you again to Artex for sending me this set of acrylic paint markers to show you guys. I love them. Um, I hope you enjoyed the swatching of these and seeing these bright, pretty colors. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.